back at it with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters. And my boy Saiyan Aura requested this video. He said, what are my thoughts on steroids slash PEDs in the UFC? Uh, this one's pretty short and sweet. My thoughts are they're banned for a reason. I mean, I do understand that they, they make uh, veterans and legends last longer. They would extend their career a little bit. People like Chuck Liddell, Chael Sonnen, Vitor Belfort, Nate Marquardt, oh, just everybody, Vanderlei Silva, all the legends, anybody that's coming coming up toward their end, even somebody like GSP, just any legend that has to retire due to age, it would extend their career. We would get to see stars longer, but it's unfair for the guys that don't use uh, steroids. And also, it, I mean, it's an unlevel playing field because you let's say you take a 34-year-old John Jones and you give him steroids against a 28-year-old uh, prospect that's really good or a 30-year-old prospect that's really good versus a 36-year-old John Jones with testosterone. He gets to take his experience as to where normally his age would... would even the even out the experience a little bit so it's the 36 year old is more experienced but their age helps out the other guy now you have you you have testosterone so you have your experience plus you have testosterone so it's just unfair so it is unfair also people like mark hunt who don't use steroids who aren't interested in using steroids it makes it an unlevel playing field for those guys so if you're going to make it legal, then you would have to pretty much demand it or make it uh, mandatory or else it's an unlevel playing field for the guys who don't want to use it. So I think there's, I mean, there's definitely always going to be guys that try and cheat, but I do think USADA is actually the right, the right way to go about uh, PEDs in the sport because I do think you need to regulate them you need to do whatever you can to keep the sport clean that's what's going to make the sport um i guess you know like pure it's what's going to make people want to join the sport because if you're a kid or you're a teenager or you're somebody that's looking into becoming a fighter you don't want to say damn i don't want to do that because i gotta take steroids and if you just say man i could be the best fighter ever you know like that that would just to me tarnish the sport a little bit if it was known as the as a league of steroid users but that's just my opinion now like I said it would extend the career of some of our favorite fighters that's the plus side but there's there's also the bad side and and with steroids do you think does since you'd be fighting longer you'd be taking more damage as to where normally your body would tell you okay it's probably time to shut it to retire the testosterone might make you take more damage as to where you're not ready to retire so you take let's say more headshots more concussions than you normally would if you would have just retired now I'm not a fucking scientist so I don't know if testosterone would help you know I don't know I don't I'm not gonna get into the science cause I don't fucking know the science but yeah I do think they're banned for a reason and I, I do think that they should be banned and yeah that's what I'll say so yeah I don't know what else to say man fuck it it is what it is let the hitters know what you think about steroids slash PEDs in the sport in the comments.